Good morning everyone, this is Sarah Asquith Valance. Thank you for joining me. If you don't know who I am, I am a success coach and a mentor for female entrepreneurs. Um, I mainly work really with women um, in medicine and STEM. My background is as a neuroscientist, so you will, um, <clears throat> you'll get some neuroscience today, as you always do. Um, <clears throat> but I had a business consultancy, and I, in fact, I've worked with female entrepreneurs uh, for about 10 years. So that's my background. And I've also had 20 years of my own health and wellness experience. So um, <clears throat> yeah, it's an interesting time for us all ladies. But I um, <clears throat> today, I want to talk about um, kind of goal setting and achieving goals um during times of uncertainty so it's the um fourth of the series we've done uh faith and belief in your business um we have done personal finance which i absolutely adored because i got to uh i got to have andrew on the call with me um <laughs> excuse me if anyone doesn't know andrew um <laughs> i mention him a lot he's my husband but um he is probably one of the top um yeah professionals in the UK with about personal finance and pensions and things like that so I was so so honored to get him on camera because he doesn't really like it but you know he does things like go on the, the one o'clock news the BBC news and talk so yeah but he said it was quite scary being with me but um yeah and then the, th the third one we did was entrepreneurial mindset again in times of uncertainty and uh, if you haven't caught those you can find them all on my page which is where you're currently viewing me from um but uh, yeah so today we are doing goal setting goal achieving uh, in times of uncertainty so it's a <laughs> excuse me it's a good old training day today so grab your pen and paper ladies because i'm going to take you through the four steps so uh yeah i mean really what we have to do at the moment well, about goal setting i have to say that things haven't actually changed that much regarding goal setting and i will tell you why as we go on but it's good to always have those goals because it keeps you in your power <clears throat> so everything at the moment is so uncertain it's so unstable <coughs> excuse me we can't control everything that's going on externally but what we can control is everything that's going on within our lives and going on between our two ears um so i want you to always always harness that and know that um yeah if you can't control anything externally which in general you can't that hasn't changed um but what you can always do is control things internally so when you do harness your goals you know, it gives you that direction, it gives you that support, um, <laughs> it gives you that courage and that commitment to what you are aiming and achieving for. Um, and I want to say, at this time, I am talking to ladies, and some of you amazing ladies, I don't know if you're on at the moment, but um, yeah, I want to say that you're kind of letting your goals go. And I don't want you to let your goals go, because this is not what this time is all about, okay? <laughs> you see, the uncertainty that we are going through at the moment is that it is cyclical. Now, we have recessions every roughly eight and a half years. So if we say we have a recession uh, every decade and then roughly every 20 years, something major, major happens. We're currently going into this major 20 year, you know, time slot. Um, <clears throat> but I want to say that really during every single time, I would love you to just keep hold and harness of your goals that you have. And you may say, oh, Sarah, everything's changed and everything's up in the air. And it's true. Everything has changed and is different and isn't up in the air. But now is not the time to take your foot off the pedal. OK, um, as my driving instructor would say, he would go gas, gas, gas. Just keep going, you know. Um, so at the moment, what I was doing three weeks ago, <laughs> a month ago, um, I'm not doing any differently now. Okay. My goals that I had before the isolation started, before <laughs> the daily fear media began dripping into us was that I still have those same goals and I still will have those same goals going forward. Only the difference is that I have ramped them up. The only other differences as well is that I'm going about it in a, in a different way. 
Um, but hopefully when you're on this call today, you will find out that you can still have your same goals, but you can also do them in a different way. So the first one, number one <laughs> is, uh, and I've titled it, um, grab your pen and paper. Don't change, but just rearrange your goals. Okay, so your goals should be the same. As I was saying, my goals from a month ago are still the same as my goals that are exactly today. A month ago, I could happily walk around. I could go into coffee shops and talk to people. Um, I was still working online at the time. I've, I've worked online since 2008, um, even with my health and wellness business. Um, but the difference is that now we are having to do it a different way. So we are having to look at our goals and how to achieve our goals in a different way. Um, so just the ability to not go outside hasn't stopped me and it shouldn't stop you from doing really what you're here to do. Um, <laughs> so the two goals that I really want you to harness today and from going forwards <clears throat> is a goal for growing your income and a goal for building your audience. Okay, and we are doing this in a different way, ladies. Again, I can't go out anymore and go to networking. I can't go to the coffee shop and just have a chat <laughs> um, or meet someone in the street and talk about what I do. Um, so, yeah, these are the two goals I do want you to harness. And it's something it's something I'm not asking you to do. I'm not asking you to do this and, and I'm not doing it myself. OK, this is what I've done since the start of my business. Nothing's changed. Um, <laughs> but I always have an income goal and I always, always love connecting with my community and my audience. And I've done it in a slightly different way, actually. I've kind of ramped up my audience, but I will come to that in a second. So the first one um, <laughs> is to have an income goal. Um, and as any good news reader, as you know, <laughs> I always have my, my notes with me. Honestly, I feel like a news reader. <laughs> yeah, but um, there's my notes at the moment. Um, so it's kind of like to have a financial goal. And I know at the moment it seems difficult because you may be up in the air. Your business may have tipped on its head totally. Um, but this is where I help currently with my new program, which is called, it's about pivoting your, your business, pivoting your business, um, to see, you know, how you can achieve these goals. Um, but I always have a financial one and, um, it's, it's good to, for something to strive towards. Um, it's good for something to keep you on track. Um, and, you know, I'm actually planning for my income goal to be even bigger this month than it was last month. Um, because I'm not buying into the fear of what's going on and I'm not playing it down at all. <laughs> Coming from a science background, I and a medically background, I kind of know um, the seriousness of viruses, um, but I also do know that everything is cyclical, okay? So there will be an end to this. <clears throat> um, you know, <laughs> nature is cyclical and your business is cyclical as well. You know, you can't just reap the harvests all the time. And I was saying in one of the other calls, it feels like we've been plunged into a winter, into a business winter. And it's... Um, it's really unexpected, but it's it happens to everybody. It's just that the crazy thing is that it's happened to everybody at the same time this time. So um, yeah, it's it's kind of like you you just need to take a step back and understand that this is cyc cyclical. I was going to say cyclical, but I don't even think that's a word. <laughs> cyclical. Um, yeah. Oh, good morning, everybody. Um, yeah, I've just seen some people popping on. Good morning. Hi, how are you all doing? Um, yeah, so I would love you to, first of all, harness that income goal. Um, and if it's if it was a certain amount last month, I actually want you to double it. <laughs> it's a goal. OK, it's you know, it's something to strive towards. It's something that's going to be achievable and you know you may not necessarily reach it but you are going for it yeah so um i'm finding that uh people are skipping goals and you know the big question is why actually i want you to type in the chat box as well you know are, are you skipping your goals or are you dreaming bigger are you going bigger at this very moment um 
let me know let me know what's happening for you um because there's like reasons that i hear why people aren't going for their goals um and they don't go for the goal because they think that they may not reach it so they say oh sarah i'm not gonna even start and i'm gonna say you never reach it if you never ever start okay <laughs> your goal is your end result okay your goal is not something that you step into and you go okay I'm gonna think about it and then it's happened yeah a goal is a process it's an actual process um, so they kind of yeah they almost give up before they start I don't want you to be a giver up before you start kind of person okay <clears throat> and some goals at the moment may seem crazy but you know what you're given it for a reason so you know actually deep down if you know you can conceive it you know you can achieve it um so yeah the second reason that i see that people <laughs> excuse me i've got my hot water and lemon again and i love this little let the adventure begin mug um mm. <clears throat> excuse me but the second thing that i hear for people that don't start their uh or don't reach their goals or don't even start their goals is because they say I just don't know how to reach it so I was talking with a lady the other day and she's we're obviously very very busy I'm very busy at this time helping people transition <laughs> and take either all their business online or just a majority of you know their business online um, and she said I, I'd love to but I just don't know how to achieve it and, and and then that was it that was like a full stop and I was like that's not <laughs> that's not good enough <laughs> you know you have to set the goal and then you have to figure out how to do it and I'm gonna say I am not the techiest of pers people okay I've got my phone and my camera set up with my kit and I have my laptop here that is as techy as I get okay <laughs> I'm not a techy person in fact so much so when I was at university doing neuroscience I had to do computational neuroscience and it was the worst term of my life doing computing and maths and you know neuroscience on the computer I, I hated it <laughs> absolutely hated it okay I'm not a techy person I know many many of you are out there um, harness that goal and in fact you could be using it you could be doing it as a business because there's people like me lots of people like me out there that hate it so um, <laughs> yeah set the goal and then figure out the resource so yeah the, the lady I was speaking with today the other day she was just like I, I don't know how to do it I don't know how, how this is gonna happen I, I can't conceive it and the thing is that um, we we as humans kind of think that everything we see is real is reality but um yeah and if we can't see it and we can't you know conceive how to do it and we haven't got our ducks in a row then it's just not going to happen and i have to say having an entrepreneurial mindset means flipping that totally on its head so um yeah set that goal you know if you are going to take that business online today set that goal to make it happen and then put steps in place to make it happen it could be that you're watching this video and you're like yes Sarah can help me do that um, it doesn't have to be me it can be somebody else but <laughs> the universe will put things into place to make you uh achieve excuse me everybody <laughs> that was uh, that was my mum and dad um I haven't seen them for ages I love you folks um <clears throat> yeah so um yeah if you um if you're struggling to to do this but you know that this is a goal that you want to achieve find a way to do it but make steps to start rather than having this end result that you think should be there and then you're like well i i, I can't do it because i don't know how okay the don't know how <laughs> is a total mindset thing you may not like to do certain pieces of it and again you can you can get other people to do that for you um or you can learn okay this is an amazing time to learn what to do um if there's stuff you don't know how to do <laughs> there's clients of mine who are taking um business ideas that they <clears throat> didn't think would be uh, suitable for other times but are actually perfect for this circumstance absolutely perfect for this circumstance um <clears throat> and yeah they just came and they said i have this idea and i was like okay let's make it happen 
let's make it happen um <clears throat> so yeah you can't grow what what you don't start and then <clears throat> the third aspect i hear of is um <laughs> and this actually makes me really laugh because they say I, i'm kind of not i'm not famous i'm not on you know all over the internet i haven't got 150,000 followers or a million followers or etc and I'm gonna tell you neither do I but that doesn't stop me from working okay <laughs> I think that people get caught up in uh, <laughs> in bits and pieces that aren't really necessary okay um, this they, you know they think it is just all about yeah getting people to click a like etc um and then everything will be fine and that's not the way it works online um so yeah i would i would finally say though for this section um just don't i'm going to read my notes because i'm kind of struggling to see any of my glasses today um you know they kind of just put a reason in the way to not do it any old reason will do as a reason but yeah please do harness those goals keep them strong and uh, that's that's kind of my recommendation for this section. So part two, section B. <clears throat> um, I would love you to get clear, get clarity. <clears throat> this is the time when everybody's business is stripped back to the bare bones. <clears throat> this is the time when things will rise up and you may no longer love your job and you may want to go and work for someone else. Uh, you may no longer love your business. You may want to go and work for someone else. You may hate your job <laughs> and you may want to work for yourself, which is exactly what I did. Um, so, yeah, I would say get clear on what you want. Now, I do hear a lot of, from my clients and they will say, oh, yeah, Sarah, but I, I kind of want, you know, I want this and I want that and the other. But I want you to make sure that your goal is super, super specific. I mean, really, really specific. So <laughs> if you have um, a number in mind of how many people you would love to add to your, you know, your Saturday email list, or you would love to um, have to work with, or the number of people that you would like to get on a phone call with and tell them about your program or your course or the work that you do, um, have a specific number in mind um, because if you say I want to make more money <laughs> there you go there's a pound or a dollar <laughs> you know it's uh, you've got to be really super clear on your end goal and then you have to take steps in how to achieve it um, so yeah be super super clear on what it is you want you know, I always, always write things down. I always write it down because then it's not just swimming around in here and it can be kind of quickly changed. Oh, well, yeah, I'd love to speak to 10 people this week, but oh, hang on, I've, I've got, you know, six. Oh, I'll make it five and make it sound good. Okay, no, it's 10 and 10 is a goal and that is it. And I just work and work and uh, make it happen. So yeah, you do have to put the steps in place and you do have to be really, really specific. <laughs> So it could be things like growing your community, um, which I absolutely adore. I mean, the one thing that I really love and I found in the very beginning when I was starting my business, it wasn't really an online space. And I totally missed um, any support <laughs> and any community. You know, I'd come from um, the workplace where you could stand around the, you know, in the kitchen and have a chat or you'd have an office full of people either writing reports or you know, when I worked in the lab, there was people just around and about. Um, and I kind of, you know, I was going to something new. This this goal was to get out of my business, out of, not out of my business, but out of my job and step into my business. And it was something that was super scary, but I knew I had to do it and I didn't know how to do it. And I really, really wanted a community. So I have to say that, ladies, if you're on here, I would say, one of the things that you need to be really specific on, if it's if it's something that feels good to you, is build a community, you know, build a group of like minded men, ladies, <coughs> professionals, um, you know, whatever, whoever you work with um, <coughs> and to be really just be really connected with them. You know, it's um, it's what I do every day. I met some amazing people at the weekend. Um, 
at a dance party <laughs> a digital dance party um, and they were mainly from france now this time and this situation in this time of uncertainty um has brought us together but it wouldn't have done if this hadn't have happened it wouldn't have done <laughs> and then on saturday and sunday i met a group of amazing ladies from germany which you know wouldn't would never have happened they would never have been in my networking group um you know so i have to say being online is so expansive and you can find your amazing beautiful tribe of people your beautiful community but get clear get clear on how you want to work get this clarity and you know if you'd love to grow your facebook community then make that a priority um <laughs> but i have to say don't get caught in the numbers game okay ladies this is the one thing, and I kind of mentioned before, um, yes, it's good to have an online presence and it's super important, particularly now, now everything's all changed, is to have a space where you can have a community, but um, don't get bogged down in the numbers. If you look at my numbers on my page, they look relatively low, but I'm super connected with the majority of those people on that page. Um, I don't just go around and say, hey, click a like, <laughs> you know, click a like and I'll respond. You know, it's like the kind of like, like sharing and stuff like that. You know, I will ask people to join my community or my page if I think that, you know, we've got a connection. Um, so yeah, find, find some lovely, lovely people you can make a connection with, but really super clear on what kind of connection you want to make and what kind of community you would love um <laughs> yeah and don't get bogged down in the numbers please don't get bogged down in the numbers you know i see some coaches and uh professionals and consultants <laughs> and they're, they're just out to make numbers so it looks good you know but they've got nothing to back it up with um the other thing i would recommend is a goal for staying close to your community and my goal is to grow my Facebook, uh, sorry, my email list every week. Um, Cause I know I've got a message at this time that I know is super, super important. Um, and I'm not spamming, but I just know I can help people. And I know that you can help people as well. So be really, really clear. Um, <coughs> and I know, you know, there's, a, there's people, they say, Oh, well, Facebook is, is great and social media is great. I can get the info straight out there and people don't open their emails um, and the open rate is really low. Um, that's something else I can help you with, with your open rate. <laughs> if it's really low, there's a reason why it's really low. Um, but yeah, at the end of the day, you only you and only you have that list, okay? Facebook can't take it away, but Facebook and Instagram and anybody else can decide to close the doors on you or it all together. And then if you're really relying on a following just from Facebook or social media, you know, it's it's a bit of a slippery slope. So I would always say that have your list and grow your list and be really clear um, that that is something that you want to do. So <laughs> part three How's it going, everybody? Thank you for staying with me. If you are on still, thank you so, so much. We are talking about goal settings and getting clear um, on how to achieve them. Um, so the next step I'm going to talk about is uh, strategy. Now, um, it's, as we said in the beginning, don't lose sight of your goals. If you are in the position now, as we stand today, and your business isn't doing very well or <laughs> you feel lost you feel confused you need clarity um you know it's so so tempting to drop goals it is so so tempting to drop goals and i would say please do not drop any of your goals right now even though <laughs> the situation looks scary um because they're there it's just what we need to do now is to still have that goal but we need to tweak strategy this is why i talk about in my new program um i talk about pivoting okay so taking the skills you have taking the business you have <laughs> and pivot it to be online and to be more available to everybody else so you still have an income and you have a consistent income um and that's why i'm super super excited about this because i know that in the next 30 days for anyone who does decide to join me um you will get 
you will get those to go through those steps with me and me personally. Yay! <laughs> it's not just a, an online uh, work workshop or workbook. I will be with you holding your hand every step of the way. So um, yeah, if that's calling to you, then yeah, drop me a PM and I'll tell you all about it. So we are talking strategy though. Um, I see and I'm seeing there is lots more freelancers, there's lots more consultants, there are lots more um, entrepreneurs stepping up and being made right now at this time. I would be doing a total disservice to myself and to the people that I know I can serve if I just stuck my head in the sand and went, mm, it's not a good time, Ooh, looks a bit dodgy, everybody else is, is like hiding away. Okay, <clears throat> now is the time to step up and step forward. As a business coach, I would say, <laughs> and I've done it for 20 years, so I have seen the cycles, a time of recession is always a good time to start a business. I actually started one of my businesses in 2008 when we had the massive financial crash <clears throat> and I went for it when everybody else didn't and it paid off. Um, so I would say make that a goal. If you are going to, to do something like that, now is never the best, better time to do it. But we are doing it in a totally different way than we ever did a month ago. Um, so it's tweaking the strategy, not changing the goal. Okay, I want you to remember that, write that down. We are changing the strategy, not changing the goals. So, um, yeah, you can adjust your goals slightly, as in we will adjust it as to the steps we go to achieve it. Um, or, you know, you may be adjusting it in the way that, well, I used to go out and speak to people and now you are online. OK, so you're still having that same goal. You're still going to be reaching those same people. But you're just doing it in a very different way. But it's the way that is working right now um yeah so <laughs> the thing is that when we when we lose sight of our goals it becomes like this downward kind of spiral um and at the moment we are getting sucked into i think into a lot of the media and i talked about this the other day i'm not going to go into a great deal about <laughs> the situation that's happening in the media but i will talk about what's happening with you and in your brain <laughs> this is my background so we have this thing called the reticular activating system and it's like if you imagine it's like a bouncer at a nightclub okay we are being bombarded all the time with information and um, even more so than ever it's 24 7 news 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 <laughs> and i have to say the only good news i've ever heard recently when i stuck the tv on um and it's from reputable stations uh, the BBC, is that 100,000 people have have recovered. That's the only good news. Um, everything else is fear and scary. And this will go into your brain. Now, this, um, yeah, this reticular activating system in your brain, it's kind of like deep in, um, <clears throat> it sends all the info to your conscious brain. So, as I say, it's like a bouncer at the nightclub. And it will be like, um, OK, bad news. Uh, yeah, in you come. Um, uh, you look a bit dodgy today. I, I don't like that kind of idea. Bam, out it goes. Yeah. So the bouncer stops everything <laughs> from coming into your thought process. So it's um, yeah, it's it's really, really difficult when we are bombarded with everything that's going on now to keep hold of those goals because everything externally is telling us that they can't be achieved because there's a major issue going on externally. So <laughs> I want to tell you that, yes, it, it, it can be. It can be achieved. And the one way is there's actually a little trick that you can do with your brain and it's to kind of compress time. So we have this reticular activating system that sends all the information in and then it heads boom to your limbic system, which makes it all emotional, which is why we see things like we've let all this information in and um, then people just don't know how to react and how to cope. So we are needing the leaders to step up to understand this is what is going on. If anybody out on here is thinking that um, 
that people out there need support, please tell them that actually this is actually what's going on in your brain. Um, there is that certain steps that's going on. But anyway, the limbic system then makes it emotional and it can get really, really bogged down. But the one thing we can do is we can kind of like bypass that fear. And I, I love it. It's, it is, it's like bypassing the system, but it is so, so possible. Now I'm just going to do read my little section because it's super important. I don't want to get it wrong for you. Um, so basically what I'm going to invite you to do today is if there is a goal that you are super scared to try and go for, we're talking emotional aspects about this now. <laughs> if you're feeling scared about a goal, um, because of the information you are hearing. Um, in fact, yeah, type it in the comment. Type it in the comment. What goal are you fearing at the moment that you think it may not happen? You don't know how to make it happen? Um, all because of this uncertainty that's going on. Um, I'm going to pop in the chat afterwards and I will give you some personal support if you need to. Um, but yeah, we are called, it's called compressing time. It's the compressing time trick. Um, and what I want you to do is to, if you work quickly, you can bypass the system. Okay, so the fear doesn't get in or the info doesn't get in and then the fear doesn't grow. Um, but I, what I want you to do <laughs> is to compress time. So if you have a goal that is happening <clears throat> in one year's time, if you say, oh, I want to I want to start a podcast in a year or I want to, you know, run a certain type of program and, and be up to a certain level in a year. Um, I would love you to then compress time and make it six months. Anything that you're planning for like six months. Yeah. Take it down to one month. Anything that you could you could envisage doing in a month's time. Do it next week. You need to override that brain pattern of what is actually happening. Um and override that fear and you make new neural pathways that way um, and you work much much quicker so <laughs> any questions everybody I'm gonna try and see if I can see the questions because they won't let me see Facebook is being a little minx and I'm not seeing anything I'm not seeing your questions but if you do have any do drop them in please do drop them in I am gonna be here afterwards answering your questions um yeah because as as you know it's training day i'm not just going to give you loads of information and then leave you to fly by the seat of your pants um and then the fourth one is really connecting with heart and soul to your goals okay now <laughs> i mean i've seen it before but i see i've seen it in the past people in particular start businesses to make money and it's fine <laughs> that is fine that is what business is there for is to make money is to make an income but when you don't have anything behind it um when there's something that's not from your heart and your soul and you know that it's in there and you need to bring it out and you know you can serve people if you're just making it as a money making activity I have to tell you, there are easier ways to go and make money than to be uh, self-employed. I always say being self-employed is the best personal development system you could, uh, personal development course you could ever go on. It will take you on a roller coaster ride. Um, but yeah, so please don't do anything at this time just for the money. Because um, number one, you'll soon fall out of love with it. Um, number two, when times get tough, um, you will not have anything to fall back on because you won't have that drive and that passion. <laughs> and there's two layers really to, to kind of goals and the reasons why you may want to start a business, you may want to grow a business, you know, you may want to tweak your business, but, um, you know, they have to be of some significance. So <clears throat> my day to day goal is that I have information that I have gained after many, many years of working um, in the online industry and working with hundreds of entrepreneurs online and in brick and mortar businesses. So I know this is what I can do and I know that I'm good at it and I know that I love it. Um, I love getting that, that feeling of when someone sends me a message and they've had a big aha moment or an achievement, yeah? So I do it as well because it brings in financial security for my family. Um, <laughs> so I have an autistic son 
and I know that there's certain amounts of money that I'm going to need to bring in um, to support him and all our activities that we do and also for his future. So I'm really, really clear on the aspects of why I do it. But then my bigger why, my why behind it all is that I am so, so passionate about women stepping up, using their skills, using their talents, being the most amazing, phenomenal, uh, educated um, women in the world and stepping up and making their own money. Because when people, when really good people step up and make their own money, they do good things with it. They do amazing things with it. Um, and it has to start, though, with at home. It has to start at home, you know. And from then on, you can you can go out into the big wide world and do even more amazing things. But I am so passionate about women making their own money um, and being leaders in their industry. Um, and, you know, and for me in particular, it's with... It's women in STEM, it's women in medicine, um, it's women in holistic health. But, you know, I work with, with all sorts of ladies because purely it is to help women make money. And that's my goal. That is my huge, huge goal. <laughs> so when times are looking a bit wobbly, you know, my close to home goal is that I'm doing this for my family. And then my big, big, what people would say my big why, your big why, is to, um, is to empower women and bring them to the forefront and to bring them out as feminine leaders and to help make their own money. Um, and that's that's kind of where I'm coming from. So I'd love for you to type in the chat, you know, what is your big why? What is your massive goal that why you're doing the little steps day to day? What What is really keeping you going when times get tough? What is really keeping you going? So again, mine is family and female entrepreneurship. Um, so yeah, let me know what's your close to home goal and what is your big, your big why really? Um, again, I've, yeah, I will pop in and have a little reply. I always go and look through and have a read of everything. Um, <clears throat> so really the steps I'd love you to take with goal setting, and I'm going to just to lay them out really, really simply. This is the take home message today. It is, first of all, Pick a goal and have a goal that you love, absolutely love with heart and soul. And you know this is here for you to do. Second step is have a strategy that you you can use in the current certain time, times of uncertainty. You may need to pivot, but keep an open mind. If you don't know how to do it, go out there and ask people how it's happening. Um, thirdly, get total clarity on what you want from the goal. Again, not just wishy-washy numbers. Um, you know, it's got to be something tangible. It can be something you hold in your hand. It's something you can write down, you can tally, you can chart. Um, and then I would say use that goal as a focus in when times get tough. Because, you know, many people are starting from scratch at the moment. Um, and many people are pivoting. Um, so really, many people are going back to basics and reassessing everything. So, yeah, that's my um, that's my kind of little four step uh, program and training I'd love to de deliver to you today. Um, before you go, though, I am going to tell you and I've mentioned it a couple of times already. I have the most amazing course program that is going on right now. And it it's probably the one of the most exciting things that I've done <laughs> purely because of the situation that we are in right now. Um, it's. A program that I've written that I wish I'd had when I took my business online. I do wish I had a, the step by step process. OK, it is going to be a business strategy step by step. The the steps you need to take to achieve the goal, which is I, ideally it's going to be taking that business online and providing a, a saleable course or program during this time. It's 30 days, it's 30 days to work with me. Day one. Um, you will, we will have a, a half day intensive and we will work through your course and your program. I'm so excited because there's people coming up with new, new, amazing ideas and things that they now know is time to bring forwards. Um, the second half day intensive is going to be about three weeks in where we'll give you some more support. You get weekly support from me. Um, you get supportive handouts and workbooks to work through the process. 
Um, there's some beautiful, amazing bonuses as well uh, thrown in there too. Um, and it's a fantastic price of 997 at the moment. The doors are open. Now, the price goes up on the 6th, so I believe that's next Monday. Um, the price goes up to 1,500. So I would jump in now um, and get one of the spaces because there is only 10 spaces. This is gonna be a very intensive, very short course, um, <laughs> just very specific for this time. But I would love to take those 10 ladies um, and just to, you know, really get you from where you are now to where you want to be in the next 30 days. Um, so I'm gonna leave that with you. If you'd love to know any more, if you'd love to speak to me about it um, and how the process works and you know how we can work together, then just PM me um, yeah, on my business page and I will, I will, um, I will make, give you a message back. We can connect. Um, but yeah, as I say, it's a brilliant, brilliant price at the moment, but it is going up on the 6th and we do begin on the 10th okay so if you can imagine almost this time next month having the most amazing program and knowing exactly what you're going to do and hit all your goals um and start making progress with your new online business or your business that you have pivoted to online um that's super exciting so i will be um yeah it'd be a privilege to work with you and uh on that note, I am going to leave you with a wonderful, wonderful day. I want to thank you all so, so very much for being with me um, and taking this time um, to do this. Uh, yeah, in this goal setting in times of uncertainty, please don't let it be something that that you stop doing. Please don't let it be something that holds you back just because it's things externally are changing. You know, harness your own goal um, let it come from heart and soul. And I will catch you very, very soon. So until then, take care. Lots of love. Bye for now.